back where the cafeteria is. Somebody has a whole bunch of toffees on our truck. in the process of editing this video right now um, and I realized that I never recorded an intro for it so here we are this video is basically just going to be a day in the life of a cafeteria worker um, some of the footage from this video will be from my other video the day in the life of a cafeteria worker and target employee so if you haven't seen that this will all be new to you but if you have seen it you might see some of the same footage but it's going to be different because I'm going to be talking over it and kind of explaining what I'm doing. So I'll also link that video down below. So if you want to see a day that I worked both jobs in the same day, a little vlog of that day, then you can watch that. It'll be linked down below. But if you'd like to see just a day in the life of a cafeteria assistant, stick around, hang out with me for a little bit. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. Hey, I'm back. I could not record a whole lot. I recorded what I could of my day. Of course, I cannot record while I'm like dealing with the kids, which is the most of the day. And also the principals and everybody be in the cafeteria during that. So, um, of course I could not record. Right now I am off. My son's school is right down the street from the school I work at, so I'm in his car rider line right now, so I just wanted to talk to y'all before he gets in the car and kind of just break down what I do every day in case you're like interested in being a lunch lady or cafeteria assistant or um, whatever. I actually really like this job. I, I love the kids, of course. They're sweet, but the job itself... <clears throat> Okay, hold on. Have y'all taken the personality test that tells you what, like, personality you are? I think I am an I... Hold on, I'm gonna check. Okay, yeah. I'm definitely an ENFP, which is, like, extroverted something, something. Basically, you don't like... You don't like the same thing every day. I can't do, I can. I cannot work in an office. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, I hate it. It's so boring to me. I feel like my life is wasting away. So if you're like me where I just, you cannot just work like sitting down in an office all day, then you would probably like the job because you're always up moving, running around, dealing with different circumstances, doing different things, which, that's the type of job that I need because I literally can't, I literally cannot with boring jobs. I can't, I just can't, which is also why I like working at Target because it's not boring. It's, um, retail, retail is never boring, but yeah. So a little bit about what I do every day, which you're going to see some of it in the video. If I'm yelling also, I'm sorry. I'm just hype. I don't know, but, um, oh, if you do work there, make sure you get some lotion because washing your hands all day, you will be dry as heck. But, um, anyways, so when I go in, uh, you'll see it on the video, I am the bread person. I deal with all the bread. There's a meat lady, fruit lady, vegetable lady, um pretty much somebody like somebody for everything so I deal with the bread so I deal with like breadsticks rolls hot dog buns hamburger buns um, on nacho day I deal with the chips I put the chips out and then I go and help with whoever else needs help basically I just deal with all the bread so yeah first thing in the morning I come in pull my bread out 
if it's some uh if it's like breadsticks or the rolls i don't have to pull it out the day before because you can cook them frozen you can put them in the oven frozen and all that fun stuff but if it's like if we're having grilled cheese or hamburgers or hot dogs obviously you don't cook that bread so i mean you do with the grilled cheese but you got to put the cheese in there first but i pull out that bread before i leave the day before so it'll already be thought out by the time we get there in the morning but for example today we had uh, garlic breadsticks so I came in the lady who does the meat she'll write me a note every morning telling me how many I need to make so today I had to make 700 700 it's 800 because there's like 800 kids there and if it's uh if it's a bread that goes with every meal then I make more I make one for every kid and then maybe a couple extras because sometimes parents will come eat not really with middle school but definitely with elementary and then the teachers also will eat sometimes if they don't buy lunch they'll come in there and get a lunch from us and it's really cool because they can also charge their meal they don't have to have the cash right then they have like an account just like the kids do where if they don't have money that day we can just charge it but anyways so I pull the bread out and then I start cooking it so today I had to get a bunch of pans wax paper put all the breadsticks out I think I ended up doing like slick might still have it Sorry. I do have I have my little notes from today. I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 pans today, and the pans are huge. They're like this big. And um yeah, full of breadsticks. And I did four cases, which is a box like this big and this tall. Full of breadsticks. these people are gonna think I'm crazy but I don't really care so yeah I made those put them all out put them in the oven after they came out the oven we put them in like a warmer thing and then that actually took me I go in at 8 15 all of that doing that cleaning up after myself and all that that literally took me until our lunch and our lunch not the kids lunch um the cafeteria workers the lunch 
Uh, it took me that whole time from 8.15 a.m. until 10 a.m. to do that. I mean, you can imagine it's a lot. And I'm new. This is my first week. So, yeah, that took me the whole time. Uh, so, after that, and if, if it doesn't take me the whole time, which, like, the other day, we had taco day. So, all I had to do was put chips out. That doesn't take long at all. You just got to take them out the box and put them in a pan and put them out. So, I was done really early. So, I was actually able to help, um make salads and get the fruit prepared and all that. if somebody's not done and somebody else is done with what they got to do you go and help them and it makes us get out of there quicker and, and it helps us get things done easy and then after that we take our lunch break which is awesome because we actually get to eat free lunch every day we can eat the fruit we can eat the uh, hot meals whatever we're literally allowed to eat whatever we want I'm trying to fix my lighting People act like they don't know how to drive here. It's really annoying. My son's gonna come in here any second. Um, so kind of after that, after we eat our lunch and everything, we get a 30 minute lunch. Um, we have to, uh, that's when the kids are gonna start coming in. So, oh, I see my baby. A big man. I'm gonna tell y'all the rest when I get home because I'm literally gonna be too distracted because I love my baby. But I'll let him say hi real quick. Mommy. Hey, baby. What's oh, up? Yeah, oh man. What? I got yellow and green. That's okay. Come on, get in the car. I'm trying my best to get green. Well, as long as you tried your best, baby. Cause that's the. Cause mommy. Here, give me that. Quit putting that in your mouth. Mommy. Sit down. Mommy. What? You let a fly in here. Um, there we go. At the first time, uh -huh. I was good. The second time, I was bad. Second time what? Bad. I was bad, Mommy. But, Mommy, guess what? What? I was the teacher's pet until I was bad, Mommy. Oh, yeah? What'd yeah. you do? Like, what'd you get to do being teacher's pet? Look, I'm recording. You want to say hi? Hi. Uh, I, I, uh, been the line reader, and I got to pick who to take to the cafeteria with me and mommy. Oh, I pick, picked Jayla. You picked Jayla. Uh -huh. oh. I thought she broke up with you. Mm -hmm. You still picked her? You like her? Is that your friend? Oh, uh, yeah, but That's mommy, sweet. why can't you go like, why can't you go like, or that up or down there? I do put it down here when I drive. I need you to sit down and buckle those. Why don't you, you put it right there, but not up there, but not up there? I don't even know what that does, to be honest with you. Oops. Maybe it makes the car do a backflip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm back. I'm home. Back to what I do every day. We take our lunch from 10 to 10.30. After that, that's when the kids start to come in. The CDC class comes in first. So they come in at around 10.30, and then after that, sixth grade comes in. There's many schools in um, in the middle school, which I feel like that's how most middle schools are, but you never know. Some might be a little different. What, honey? I can't believe I'm on YouTube, too. Yeah! So 6A comes in first. They come through our lines. I work on the register. So we all kind of have our own like role. Me and two other girls are on the registers. When we get one more person, they're probably going to open up another line. So it'll be four of us on the registers. It's super easy because the kids just put like their ID number in. And then all I do is hit enter and hit charge if they don't have money in their account. Or... um. I can take money from them, put them, put it in their account. So basically, I'm a cashier at that part of the day. And then we have ladies, of course, on the um, inside of the line who serve the food, who 
portion it out and give it to the kids. And they come down the line and then come check out with me. In between all of the little breaks, like between all the mini schools, between like 6A, 6B, 7A, 7B, 8A, 8A 8B, then we have like, I'm not even really sure how long it is because I'm so busy running around, I don't know. I would say maybe like 10 to 15 minutes. I really am not sure, but it's not a whole lot of time. But we, and, and during that time, we have to refill kind of like the fruit. The ladies who serve, they refill like their meats and their, like the food food. And then the cashiers, we go back in. We have, to, we have to refill the fruit. We have to refill like the condiments. So ketchup, mustard, mayo, whatever we happen to have that day. And we also have to refill the utensils, so forks, knives, spoons, whatever they need. And sometimes they also give the kids like extra things they can buy, like cookies, chips, whatever, and then we can do that too. To do all that, there's two sets of tables there, so when one mini school is in, they'll be using only one set of tables. So when they leave and then the other one comes in, we have to clean those tables that they were sitting at for the next group after you know, so it's like every other one. So we have to clean off the tables, make sure they're clean, refill all the food and all the utensils and everything after each class. Take out the trash between them all because we only have like, I'm not even really sure how many trash cans we have. We have a whole lot of trash cans, but as you can imagine, they get filled up pretty quick. So we have to take out the trash between each class um, and try to kind of like spot sweep because their kids, of course, food's going to be on the floor. So, we have to kind of squeeze all that in and just kind of really run. Like, one of the teachers told me there, she's like, y'all really have to hustle, don't you? And I'm like, yeah, girl. Like, yeah, we have to pretty much run around and get whatever we need for that next class to come through. Um, but I actually really like it like that because it makes the day go by super quick. Like, super quick. We're just like in and out it feels like once they all come through um after the last one of course we gotta uh take all the hot food throw it out whatever wasn't used take all the cold food like the fruit and everything put it up for the next day wipe down the lines wipe down everything um and then of course we gotta wipe down all of the tables in the entire cafeteria take out all the trash uh sweep and mop or sometimes we use like that big machine that kind of mops the floor for you <laughs> Okay, my bad. Now I'm taking out the trash. looks and how rough I look right here like that's how y'all know I be working oh my gosh I look so rough my hair like you can tell I don't care anymore oh my god a whole mess
<laughs> Look, y'all. I was so mad. I ran over my toe. <laughs> Look at that face. So we do that. We just kind of clean up. We got to clean up the kitchen, make sure all that trash is taken out. And then that's it. Oh, of course, we got to count the registers down too. It's like today I have $3. The other day I had like 30 It's never a whole lot. It's just whatever the kids give you or the um, teachers give you. So that's pretty much my whole day. And then we leave. Y'all have seen some of it in the video. Of course, I couldn't record too much, but I did what I can. Hello again. I can't really see out of my glasses, but that's okay. So... I just wanted to come on here and talk again. This is actually me from the next day. So, hey, what's up? Hello, how is everybody? Um, I was just realizing today as I was working that I did not mention some things that we do. Um, I forgot to mention the dishes. So, while we are back there cleaning up like the cafeteria and everything, there is another team of people working on dishes. The job consists of a lot of math. Like, you have to do, of course, you have to do math while cooking, because you have to get the portion, not the portions right, but like, well yeah, the portions. You have to get like, for example, today I had to make mac and cheese. And I had to make 300 servings of mac and cheese, and you, in the recipe book, the recipe is for 100 servings, so you have to triple that. So you gotta do a lot of math. Um, at the end of, well, at the end of your prepping, you have to write down, there's a paper that everybody has to write down what they made on there and how many. Um, so you also have to do that. And it's a lot of math because like, okay, say that you need to make 700 of something, right? And there's a box and in a box comes 150. That would be easy because two of those boxes is 300 and so on and so on. But usually they come in weird quanti quantities. Like a box will have like 128 things in there or 164. So it's just weird and you gotta kind of do the math around it. So yeah, you have to write down everything you've made on like the production. It's called the production sheet. And it's just everything that everybody made, how much, just so we can kind of keep track of like not really inventory, but how much we're using. But that's it. I just kind of wanted to tell y'all a little bit more about it that I realized that I did left out because I was talking more about what I do and not what everybody else does because it's really a team effort. Like everybody is doing something different so that we can get it done in time. Because if you think about it, it's a lot of work. Like we have almost, I think 800 students there and it's only six of us working there and then two managers but the managers they deal more with like the paperwork and the man manager things you know so they don't really um not saying that they don't help because they do help us a lot but they deal more with the manager management side of the job so if you think about it, it is a lot of work to get done. We have to prepare all that food. We have to keep the lines going, um, check the kids out, clean up after them, af after they're gone, clean up the whole cafeteria, clean up the kitchen. It's a lot, like, it's a lot. And I'm sorry, I'm driving. That's why I'm not really looking at the camera. But I've just stopped because I am at my son's school. So, just gonna wait for him to get out 
and that's it um if y'all want another video like this let me know and i will try to do it but yeah um see y'all next time bye try that again because my phone stopped recording again there you go just a whole mess <laughs>